Hello everyone and welcome back to Ronnie D TV. I am your host Ronnie D, obviously, and this is my channel and this is where I come and do videos about different things. Um, right now we're going to be doing a video about my sewing journey. Um, but yeah, there's lots of stuff on here. Sometimes I do opinion pieces, sometimes I disappear for months at a time and then come back and do something totally different. <laughs> that happens a lot. Um, but if you hit the subscribe and the like and the bell and all that crap down there, it'll tell you when I do do new things um, so that you don't miss it when I do. Um, but today we're going to talk about what I've been doing this year with COVID and everything there. It's been kind of a wonky kind of year. So um, I was one of the people that continued to go to the office, um, even though we did have the work from home option. It didn't work for our lifestyle and stuff like that. So even when everything was sort of locked down and whatever, I was still going to work. Um, and I wanted to find ways to kind of keep my brain creative and busy because like it was a lot like mentally for this whole pandemic. Um, I'm kind of a solitary person anyway, so it didn't change a lot of my day to day, but seeing the roads and stuff completely empty, like it was walking dead was really hard on the noggin. Um, it really bothered me to see the city as empty as it did, oddly enough, um, to see how quickly everything changed, how worrying everything was. Um, so I really needed something to kind of get my creativity back and center myself and some semblance of normality, as we say. So I decided I was going to get a sewing machine and learn to sew because I had remembered taking a sewing class back in junior high and I didn't remember hating it. Um, and I remember I used to sell sewing machines way back in the day when Sears was a thing and malls were a thing and people would go out. And... So I really enjoyed that and demoing the machines. So I was like, fuck yeah, I can sew. I'll just get a real good machine. I'll be making my own clothes in no time. I'll be on Project Runway next week. It'll be great. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna get the Project Runway sewing machine. Meow. So many things I've learned in the time between December when I placed the order and now where we're in the almost the end of July now, Jesus. Um, but it's been a process, so I thought I would share because I know probably a lot of people started out the same way. They're like, oh my god, I'm gonna get a sewing machine to keep myself busy during quarantine. Um, there's a lot more to sewing than just getting a machine and going, oh, I have a pattern, I'm good, Pfft, everything's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No, it was hard, hard, not easy at all. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of, um, seam ripping and retrying and getting angry and walking away from shit and being scared of shit. So I thought if I went through all this trying to learn to sew, other people might, and it can be intimidating at the beginning. So I thought I would share what I learned so far and continue to learn over my years of sewing because I've got... I really am enjoying it, so I am going to continue to do it. Um, so I figured maybe it helps people, maybe it entertains people, maybe nobody watches it and I just do it for my own amusement. Um, yeah, but you know, that's what I'm going to do. So when I decided I was going to sew, I spent probably a good month trying to figure out what machine I wanted and getting discouraged because I'm like, oh my god, all the machines I want have like, you know, five hundred six hundred dollars and blah 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 and I have to have a computerized machine and has to have all these fancy sporadary stitches and all these fancy seamer stitches over here because I'm not getting a separate serger that's bullshit and all of it's bullshit you seriously can get away with like a hundred dollars maybe and like a machine that does straight stitch zigzag stitch and that's about it really to begin with that's all you really need from what I'm telling everything I've done so far has been with straight stitch um, any fancy stitches I've done, um, I fucked them up because first of all, there's different feet for shit like that. And I didn't know, I didn't even know that like, let me show you, this piece comes off my sewing machine and there was a whole pouch in here with little doodads and shit. Cause like, I just bought a sewing machine. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but I bought a sewing machine. I bought a pattern and I bought two, uh, two meters of two different materials because I figured, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to get this pattern for these pajama shorts. That seems like a pretty good spot to start for clothing. Um, you know, haven't touched a machine in about 15 years, but I'm going to give it a go. My friend Judy got me really interested in going to like thrift stores and getting different things that like I could turn into different things. We did it all the time. It was so fun. Um, we'd go grab the ugliest dresses and she just made these great creations for shadow play for me, like Ronnie originals every time. And I looked great. I was like, I could do that. I have a thrift store down the street. Easy, easy. 
I didn't even know this part came off my machine and had a pouch of shit in it. I didn't get any thread. I didn't get any scissors. I didn't get a seam ripper. I didn't get a ruler. I got a machine. I got a pattern. I got fabric. And I was like, I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to be at my next runway show. It's going to be next week. It's going to be great. This pouch has different needle types. This pouch has different feet for the different settings. Um, yeah, I was totally fucking retarded. I don't know how I thought this was going to happen, like, like some fucking Cinderella or some shit where mice were going to come out and just do it all at night for me. Um, I don't know how I assumed that the pattern was going to work with the material and then just magically go through the machine and become a pair of shorts with no fucking, like, thread. I don't know how I thought that was going to work. And pick up pins. I didn't pick up anything. Um, so when the machine got here... Um, I realized I didn't have a whole crap ton of stuff, but everything was in lockdown and I couldn't go to stores and get it and I didn't really know what I needed. Um, so the machine sat there for like a month and did nothing. <laughs> um, it sat there for a month, probably three months before I touched it. Uh, I took it out of the box after a month um, and then I started setting up this creative space, which I can show you at a different time. Um, to get myself motivated to use the machine. And then I took out all the paper from the pattern and I was trying to read through it. And, huh, it was confusing and I got lost and I got more discouraged and I'm like, I can't do this. What the fuck was I thinking? I just wasted all this money on a machine I'm never even going to use. Um, because patterns assume that like it's still the 1800s and you've been sewing since you were old enough to walk. Um, they don't really take the time or, or have good demos on there about what you're supposed to be doing. They assume you know all the terminology and they assume you know what you're fucking doing. So it's a bit discouraging if you don't know what you're doing because they don't really take the time to do that in the patterns. And that's fine. I mean, most people who are buying patterns and stuff like that have probably been sewing for many, many years, but it can be really discouraging and you can't let it. Um, I found the easiest way to use the pattern is to like the parts that say cut out the pieces and tell you what sizes. That's pretty easy to follow. It's the how to sew it together pattern instructions that are a bit of a problem at first. So if you can cut out the pieces, you can usually go to YouTube and get a video about how to make shorts. That's what I did because I cut out all my pieces finally I was like, okay, I got all the pieces cut. I can figure out how to sew this together. That's no problem. Maybe I don't understand the instructions, but I mean, straight sides go together. And then like in the middle of shorts, like I'm looking at pairs I have and I'm like, what seems to be the curved part just gets sewn to the other piece. So I ended up sewing the front piece to the front piece and the back piece to the back piece. And then trying to attach the crotch of both to each other and not figuring out why this worked. It was hideous. It was a mess. Uh, I don't even think I kept it to show you, but um, it didn't work. And I was like, what the fuck did I do? I thought I understood this. I really can't do this. I've wasted a lot of money. So I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just watch a YouTube video, how to make shorts. And this lady showed me step by step. And this is why I think it's so important, like sewing classes and shit like that, or even YouTube, which is what I'm planning on doing, to see somebody do it. It was like night and day. I was like, oh, of course that makes sense to do it that way. I'm an idiot. Um, and then as soon as I did that, I went in and cut a new pair out of the pattern. And within 20 minutes, I had a pair of shorts. And they're great. Um, I'm going to go back in and put an elastic in there now that I've watched a couple videos on how to do that. Uh, YouTube really has everything. There's a great community. Um, with Wendy does a really great channel. She's got some really cool stuff if you're like me and not wanting to go the pattern route as much because I find it a bit discouraging right now. I'll work my way into that, but I'm going to be going more the thrift store refashion kind of sewing um, because that's what I like to do. I like to look at things that already exist and Ronnie them up and um, add lace or cut this or add some spikes over there or cut this leather and put it on this silk and I, I, because I think I, I have those fond memories of my friend Judy of like going to the thrift store and going on safari and it being a whole day thing where we then come back to the dress form and we pin everything and we're poking at me and it's a whole afternoon and then she just makes this creative thing out of something that obviously meant something to somebody else at some point, that history of the whole garment. Um, I really like that. So that's the way I'm going to go. And I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm probably going to do another video there in a few days about the tools that I realized you need to get started. Um, but today I just sort of wanted to focus on getting the machine and 
how discouraging it can be at the beginning if you are using patterns and, and it's not easy to understand. Like my brain didn't wrap around it at all. Like some people might look at the pattern and just be like, oh, it's super simple to do. Duh. You just have to do X, Y, Z. I, my brain was just not a way to do it. So I had to watch a YouTube video and this lady was like, oh, you just do this, you do this. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes complete sense. Hold on a sec. Whoop, shorts. Um, now I'm making a, a cover for my sewing machine out of some really cool fabrics I got. At, I didn't know what a fat quarter was and I don't know how to work a fabric store yet um, because they're new to me. So I didn't know if I could, like, do I go to the shelf and pick the big thing of fabric off and walk over to the table and go, I want this much, or do I have to go get somebody and get them to bring it over and do the thing? I didn't know. So I saw these pre-cut fabrics in fat quarters and I figured it was probably a quarter of a, of, of a yard or whatever. Um, and I know that two meters makes, you know, a, at least a pair of shorts. So I figured I could probably get away with it if I got a bunch of different little fat quarters and just like stitch it all together. Um, I'm still going to have to figure out how the fabric store works because I'm eventually going to need more than fat quarters to be able to do things. Um, so I'm going to have to get over my shyness and just be like, hey, can I need to know how this works. Um, but yeah, I got some really cool Halloween fabrics. So I got this. Um, I'm making the body. Ooh, I almost flipped over all my pins. <laughs> um, I got this really nice fabric for like the base of it. And then I'm doing pockets out of the other materials. Um, and that all started because I had this old t-shirt that had this really cool patch on the front. And straighten out here. This really cool patch. And I didn't want to lose the shirt entirely because this patch was really cool. So I'm making this kind of gothy inspired like cover with pockets for my sewing machines so that I can keep pieces that I've cut and stuff like that and instructions that I'm working with and notes in the pouches on the machine while I'm working on a project. Um, and it really all came from refashioning this t-shirt cause I didn't want to lose this patch. So that's going to get hand stitched onto the front. I've got a purple material for the lining. Um, and it's all trial and error. I'm just literally just pinning everything before I touch anything, um, or try and sew anything. It also is helping to keep the seams where I need them to be. Um, I'm hoping to sew it later this week. That's the other thing I want to you take away from the first little bit. If you're thinking of getting into sewing and stuff, give yourself some time. Like I was like, oh, I can have this sewing machine covered done in a day. I, I don't have a pattern, so I'm, I'm winging it. And that's going to take some time and you have to give yourself that time. You can knock out a pair of shorts in a half hour if you're, if you're good about it. If you got everything cut, you've got about an hour to, to spare, like you get everything cut out and everything. Sewing it is easy. Um, sewing is actually less about the machine and what you're doing on that than everything else leading up to the machine. If you've done everything leading up to the machine properly, then the sewing is the easy bit. Um, and you will, like, I'm I'm being self-taught. I'm, I'm teaching myself with YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, I might take a class at some point, might not. Um, I really dig the idea of the refashion, so that's probably where I'll stay for right now. Um, but, yeah, I want to take you on this journey with me. So the next one I'll do will probably be about um, the, the tools that I realized I needed right out the get-go. Because it's a lot of stuff that, it's little things. Like, I never even thought of. I was like, duh, of course you need pins. But... I don't know. I guess assumed the machine would come with them. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, it, it's stupid little things like that, that I, I hope to help other people who are starting this journey. So I'm hoping to do one of these a week. I, I'm not really good at being committed to the YouTube channel yet. So I'm working on that. It's one of my goals and all that stuff, personal growth. Um, <laughs> We're getting back to normal now. The pandemic is almost sort of wrapping itself up, I guess. I don't know what it's doing. Um, but stuff's opening, so we're getting back out, and the weather's nice, and might get a bit of summer in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do these videos and do them in smaller doses, around 15 minutes there, and do one topic per thing, and show you what I'm doing as I go along. But yeah, this is the sewing series I haven't really got a name for yet, so... Hit the subscribe button and it'll let you know when I put out the next one. You can hit the bell button and do notifications and shit. Um, if you have a cool name for a sewing series, you can pop that in the comment below. My favorite one will be used. I can promise you that. Because um, right now, I'm a, I got nothing. Um, <laughs> if you learned to sew this year and had some tips or frustrations at the beginning of your journey that you want to share, then yeah, shove it in the comments. We'll like start a conversation. I'll read all that crap. 
Um, and until next time, 